ChatGPT users show 55% less brain activity and 83% can't even remember what they just wrote. But this MIT study is missing the key point of AI entirely. MIT hooked college students to brain scanners. There were three groups. One write essays with ChatGPT, one with Google, and one just using their own brains. And the results? ChatGPT users had the weakest neural connections. Google users dropped 34 to 48%, and the brain-only group showed the strongest activity. Even worse, that four months later, the former ChatGPT users still showed sluggish brain activity without AI. Their brains forgot to engage. But here's the catch. These studies only test the same task with or without AI. We've always feared new tech. Plato said that writing would destroy wisdom, and parents panicked about the ability to remember phone numbers when phones arrive. Yet nobody mourns doing math on paper when calculators exist, and nobody misses paper maps when GPS and Google Maps freeze your mind from the mundane. On contrary, Nigerian students using AI tutors with guidance learned twice as fast. Harvard physics students doubled their learning in half the time. When Steve Jobs called computers like bicycles for the mind, AI, that's the rocket ships. Why wouldn't you use superpowers for thought? But here's how. Always think first. When AI goes first, it anchors you. Like, don't think of a pink elephant. Now that's all you think about. First, generate ideas. Write them down, even in a super rough form, and then amplify with AI. And the real magic? When AI handles routine tasks for you, you tackle the unimaginable. The threat isn't AI. The threat is doing the same thing as before with AI. It's settling for less than you're now capable of. MIT got one thing wrong. AI doesn't damage your brain. Your choices do. Use AI to push beyond what was possible before and your brain will be challenged more than ever. Which future are you building?